everyone, welcome to my channel, Mamas Unite. I have right here the Dr. Brown's uh, baby bottle, baby parts sterilizer, and I need to descale it. So I figured I would show you guys what it looks like when it's time to descale de it and how to do that. Alrighty, so here's the unit right here in my kitchen on the counter, and I'm gonna just lift up the top. And then this part here will come out. So you're gonna lift that out and see right here, this happens even when you use distilled water. I do use distilled water when I use this to sterilize the bottles, nipples, pacifiers, whatever it is that I'm sterilizing, but it still gets buildup that you need to descale. So what you will do is every so often when you choose to descale it, you'll take here, I have one ounce of vinegar and two ounces of water, mix that together and you're gonna go ahead and just pour it right inside, right on top here. Perfect. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna run a cycle with it empty. So you're gonna go ahead and close it up. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna push the power button here. Then you're gonna hit this little play button when it is ready to start, which it is, the check mark is lit up. So you'll hit that and now it's heating up. So it's gonna go through all the cycles and I won't sit here and make you guys watch it. I will show you what it's gonna look like when it's all done through the cycle and then we'll go ahead and we'll rinse the whole unit with fresh clean water. So hang tight. All right guys, so the cycle has finished. It's indicated by the green check mark here. It took roughly about 20, 25 minutes. So when you open it, be careful. It has a very strong odor of vinegar. So what I did is I vented the top chamber there and then you open it up here and it looks like it didn't do much, but what we need to do is unplug it and rinse it with cold, clean water. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and I will show you the end result. All right, so I just finished rinsing it out and here is the finished product. So obviously the heating element, it's got wear and tear on it because I use this thing a lot when I have a baby, just sterilizing the bottles and all the parts pretty often. So don't be alarmed if it's not perfectly clean, but compared to what it was before, much better. So, you know, make sure you set aside like 30 minutes for this, just you so you have enough time to run the cycle. I would probably do it maybe when the baby's napping because when the cycle is done, it's gonna smell pretty strongly of vinegar. So just keep that in mind, maybe crack a window. Um, but you know, just do this periodically for the upkeep of the unit and it's going to function optimally and keep everything really sterilized and clean and super easy. So just one ounce of vinegar, two ounces of fresh water, run through one cycle, empty. When it's all done, rinse it out with cold, fresh, clean water does not have to be distilled and just clean it off a little bit and voila, you're good to go for the next couple of uh, uses. So hope this video was helpful. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Um, if you're interested in the Dr. Brown's baby bottle sterilizer, it's been great. I will be doing a review on this. I don't even use Dr. Brown's bottles. I used Komotomo and they fit just fine. So. Thanks so much for watching you guys and stay tuned for more videos.